Hello and welcome to the TES Secondary Maths Resource of the Week number 14 with me Craig Barton. Now if there's one thing that I really really struggle with with maths and I used to, this was true when I was a student and it's, it's certainly true now uh, when I'm a teacher I've not improved with age at all and that is my general spatial awareness and in particular my drawing skills and they are nothing short of woeful and the kids have picked up on this now and they're, they're always challenging me to draw stuff and it's an absolute joke how bad I am at it. I'd like to think it makes me uh, a better teacher at, at teaching it because I have to really think of the, the struggles that I have myself and hopefully relate that to the students but oh it, it really is a struggle and any kind of resource that can help me improve the way I deliver it I'm always in favour of and that's why I was so happy when I stumbled upon this drawing in 2D and 3D which has been uploaded by one of my favourite uploaders uh, Dan Walker he's, he's coming up with some brilliant stuff these days and it's a PowerPoint and it's a massive PowerPoint eight megabytes in size so it'll take you a bit of a while to download it but I promise it is worth it it is massive and it's just full of so much good stuff so i'll just have a quick flick through this and i'll just share with you a few ideas for, for how you might use it i'll say at the start this powerpoint is nicely animated and um, i'm not going to click through the animations because it'll take ages but don't worry if you kind of see the answer on the screen it'll be it'll be hidden uh, when you actually do the presentation yourself if that makes sense so uh it starts off with a look at 3D solids and then it, it shows a lovely little picture and challenges the students to find uh, as many different 3D shapes as they can on there. And then it goes through the kind of standard stuff with, with prisms, um, which is which is lovely. It's very nicely presented. Um, I'll say as well, before we go any further, that the way I'd use this resource, and this is the way I think resources generally should be used on TES, um, is never taken as a whole like this because Dan's designed this resource for his style of teaching and for the way he, uh, and for his particular Particular classes and there's just so much stuff in there so what I'd be doing is, is taking individual slides out or even specific elements of slides and, and building them into my own presentations to fit the way I want to deliver the lesson if that makes sense I, I, I tend to see a lot of uh, PGC, PGC students and NQT students who kind of take resources kind of whole school from TES and just use them kind of straight out of the box and I think that's where you can tend to get into a, a, a few problems so I'd strongly suggest uh, with this resource in particular just taking the elements out that, that you want and, and building it around your own your own work if that makes sense and um, so yeah we've, we've got prisms and we, we, I get a nice little description of how to how to um, how to draw one and, and what it means and then I really like this one here and um, just the, the simplicity of it and I, I need stuff like this of, of thinking how do you actually draw a cylinder um, in two dimensions on, on a piece of paper and a cone and a square based pyramid and I never really thought of that before a square based pyramid being a, a rhombus with, with four lines coming up it but yeah I, I guess it is and then the students are challenged to draw uh, little sketches of those uh, six shapes there all the stuff that you see here as well at the end of the presentation uh, Dan's provided some worksheets to go alongside it so you get this sheet obviously without the six shapes in there so that the students can, can fill it out and then we get onto something that I am absolutely rubbish at, and that's isometric drawing. And I love this challenge here. Uh, draw the seven different shapes that you can make using four cubes. And again, there's blank isometric drawing paper at the bottom for the, for the kids to try there. And I'd certainly give the kids uh, some cubes to, to have alongside them, because I know I'd, I'd use them and find that useful as well. A nice little bit about the uh, platonic solids as well, a nice bit of enrichment there for the students to think about, absolutely lovely stuff. And then we get onto some impossible drawings and obviously the work of the wonderful Asher there throughout it. And then again another, I mean this, I'm showing myself up here, but something else I'm pretty bad at and that's that's nets and crucially visualising what, what nets look like when, when they're put together. And this is something I really, I'm really, really bad at. Uh, this question here where if that side there top right is marked with P when it's folded up what, what other two sides will meet there and I really really struggle with that one and certainly when it comes to cubes as well and a nice little net matchup activity there and then we get on to proper drawings more accurate representations of nets and again there's a, a lovely worksheet that goes alongside that to, to help you with that one and just there's just loads of stuff nets of cubes then we have some actual proper nets that the kids can cut out cut out sorry with the flaps involved as well and fit them together then we move on to technical drawings and then it's classic uh, plans and elevations which again I'm, I'm not so good at this at, at this either and some really really nice ones here where kids are presented with the shape and asked to draw the uh, plan and elevation of it and it's I even like the colors it just makes it again a lot a lot simpler to someone like myself who would struggle with this and then a more structured worksheet on it 
So you can see there's absolutely bags of stuff. And here are the, here are the worksheets that I mentioned at the end. So for all the slides that you saw where kids have to do something, Dan's kindly provided worksheets to go alongside it. I mean, what an absolutely chock-a-block, 41 slides worth of brilliant material there that can box off most of your drawing in 2D and 3D needs, hopefully in a nice, clear, structured and engaging way. And it certainly helped me get a little bit better at the topic. So thanks so much for uploading that, Dan. Um, if you've used the resource um, and you'd be so kind to spare a couple of minutes just to comment on it, just at the bottom of the page, just saying perhaps how you've used it or any ideas that you've had, or even just to thank Dan for, for sharing such a wonderful resource that must have taken ages to put together and I shall return with a fresh resource of the week hopefully on a topic that I'm slightly better at next time take care and farewell for now